Welcome to our inaugural View From Here video. I'm up here on top of Trinity's Tower with my friend Joe Giant. Joe works for the city. Joe, what do you do at the city? I work in the Department of Redevelopment. So essentially it's economic development. We work with business owners, developers, um, people all over the city that uh, want to build things, want to do productive things for Fort Wayne. It's so just, yeah. we essentially help them complete their projects, whether it's yeah, they need an economic incentive or they need some help with the process or identifying uh, people that can assist. Uh, that's our job is to just put those people in contact and make those things happen. Excellent. Now, I think one of the things that Joe's been working on recently is parking downtown. Yeah. And if you've ever come downtown or if you've been downtown recently, you know parking's a deal, right? Or not a deal. It's, it's a pain, <laughs> actually. It's, uh, people are very passionate about parking. It, it, it is an issue. Um, and in days like today, I mean, it's a beautiful view. It's not warm. Um, you don't necessarily want to walk five or six blocks to uh, where, where you're going. So having that parking nearby is important. What's, what's happening to get more parking downtown? <laughs> it's good to look at this in terms of why is this an issue. <laughs> and. It, I like to frame it in that it's a really wonderful problem to have because what it means is our city's growing. Yeah. Um, when I'm up here looking around, I can see all sorts of new developments. We have the ballpark, yeah. which is 10 years old this year. Um, Harrison Square, everything over there is new. There's the Harrison Building. We have a courtyard Marriott Hotel that's really full and another Hampton Inn going up right next to it. Grand Wayne Center expansion. Um, I see the Skyline Tower, Ash Building. I can see the landing from up here. Um, we have, oh, we're, get, we're getting close to a thousand new uh, dwelling units planned or built. Lots of new office jobs. So what we're seeing is lots and lots of people coming downtown, which is wonderful. But if we're not increasing our supply of parking sort of in concert with that growth, it can, it can lead to some challenges. Yeah. like. They're all going to be parking in our parking lot at Trinity and bugging the heck out of us. So we're doing a parking study, and you always need a control for the parking study. So I said, well, what if there was a parking lot in the middle of downtown that had absolutely no restrictions? And like Trinity. Your, like, and that is your lot. You have no signage, no, no cost. I wouldn't put it out there that it's free parking for anyone because... I like you too much. Thanks. <laughs> but, but essentially, it's, it's, it's what would happen if there were no no rules or enforcement or anything. And um, I see people walking from your lot to the library. I think that as a member of the downtown community, that's probably something that you like, that challenges you, but you see you're, you're giving back. Um, lots of people downtown are not as gracious and I don't want to say community minded because we're all down here because we like Fort Wayne. But if it was a situation where it was just wild west, anybody could park where they wanted to, it would, it would lead to a lot of unintended consequences. So what we're doing is looking at all the lots that are downtown and saying, how can we optimize this so that we can continue to grow mm -hmm. um, the way we've been growing, um, but also make sure that uh, people have access to the places where they want to go, that whether it be work or tin caps game or restaurants, shops. Yeah, so um, it's, it's thinking about, yeah, adding parking, but also making sure that we're making the most use of the parking that we have. Excellent. Now, I know you all just don't think about putting cars in slots, though pedestrians and bikes and that sort of stuff yeah. bear into that? Do, do we yeah, see absolutely, some of that? yeah. I, well, one thing to keep in mind is I don't, I, I don't think anybody just comes downtown to park. They come downtown to, to do something. And um, for that matter, a lot of people don't come downtown by car. They, you know, I, I ride my bike a few days a week. A lot of people do that. Um, or if you have to park a few blocks away, and you have to walk like we don't want to make it a situation where mm -hmm. you have to walk four blocks from your parking spot we get used sure. to parking far away we want you to you know, be in a downtown where that's an enjoyable experience where you're seeing things that you know are, are stimulating and fun and interesting and that's kind of why downtowns are exciting because there's so much stuff happening at yeah. the same time so um what that plays into is making sure that our downtown is walkable so there's good wide sidewalks that are clean level, uh, connected, um, making sure that there's good bike infrastructure. We've been putting in a few bike lanes here and there. Um, we're trying to do more. We're thinking about doing an urban trail down uh, Harrison Street, which is a couple blocks away from the church. That would essentially be, um, I don't want to say like an extra wide sidewalk that diminishes it, but really what it is is just it gives priority to 
bikers and pedestrians. It would be like a 10 foot right of way that would uh, probably take the place of one side of on street parking. But what it would say is this is an important street to walk on. This is an important street for businesses. It's sort of like your A plus location that says if you're visiting Fort Wayne, this is somewhere to remember. Yeah. Kind of like the High Line in New York City. It's a lot like that, or like the Cultural yeah. Trail in Indianapolis. Yeah, yeah. Um, excellent. And th those are shown to have really great uh, impacts on the businesses that are around them. Like it can increase excellent. property values, increase um, people walking by your property, which is good for business yeah, too. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Yeah. Uh, the city has done a study on parking and parking downtown, and I know, Joe, you've been involved in that. Yeah, we've involved a lot of key downtown stakeholders. We held focus groups at your church. Thank you again for yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, talked to a lot of the people that sort of make downtown tick to um, recognize what, the, what their issues are. And so the product of that will be a parking strategy that um, helps us optimize our existing parking supply. So mm -hmm. make sure that what we're, we're getting the best use of what we have today and looks at how the downtown will grow into the future to make sure that we have enough parking to accommodate that increased demand. Excellent. We are nearly all the way through the study. We're expecting the first draft of the report to be complete uh, towards the end of this month and hopefully it'll be finalized before the end of the year. Um, and we can get started uh, implementing those measures at the beginning of next year. Excellent. We had a consultant team help us with the study. I was led by American Structure Point. It's a consulting firm out of Indianapolis. They have an office here. And uh, two planning firms, Nelson Nygaard and MKSK. So they're sort of the, the parking gurus. They know the policy inside and out. They've seen what's worked in other places. Okay. Hopefully they can see kind of what, what that looks like here. Um, we've been facilitating it, but really leaving the um, policy recommendations in their hands. They're, they're doing parking count. They're doing demand projections. Um, but they're, they're the one. They're the ones leading the study. We're just sort of we, we recognize the need for it, and we're just making sure that it's um, accomplishing our goals. But we're not we're not the ones um, out there. Um, sure. <laughs> coming making up it up on your own. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so one of the things that we're mentioning when we're talking about optimizing parking supply is on street parking, which is essentially metered parking spaces. Um, if you look down, this is Wayne Street right here. It's metered almost all the way from start to finish. Uh, you can see that a lot of the parking spaces aren't being used right now. I mean, it's, it's about 10.30 on a Friday morning. Um, it's cold outside. There aren't a lot of, you know, activities going on. But you can see that there's a lot of uh, available parking spaces. So right now, we have a two-hour time limit, um, $1 per hour in, in all of our parking spaces. One of the things we're looking at is saying, okay, are there ways we can sort of adjust rate structures so that these spots will be used a little bit more intensively. Um, right now, we have a section of downtown where on-street parking is used very, very heavily and some other spots where it's not. It's sort of balancing that out to make sure that we're not just building garages or building new parking spaces when we have existing supply that we could better optimize. It sounds like there's a, a lot of exciting stuff. As we know, there's a lot of exciting things happening downtown. If you haven't been here recently, come down and and if you're part of Trinity, park in the parking lot and walk around and take a look about. Absolutely. Joe, great to have you with us. Thanks for having Thanks me. Thanks for up here. making the climb.